I'd like to demonstrate how to use the clock oscillator harmonic analyzer to help you analyze your uh, various harmonics on a product. There's two ways of using this. The first way is to enter in a crystal frequency in the green cell as noted. Uh, in this case, we've entered 25 megahertz. You can see in this middle column the list of harmonics that are related to that 25 megahertz crystal. Uh, for example, uh, here in the first line, we have the fundamental frequency of 25 megahertz. In the second one, this is the second harmonic of 50, the third harmonic is 75, and so forth. This is very helpful for determining if, say, that 275 megahertz harmonic is related to some crystal oscillator frequency. Uh, for, let's try another example. Let's enter in 50 megahertz. Now you can see that all the possible harmonics are listed here. Uh, for example, the fifth harmonic is 250, the tenth harmonic is 500, and so forth. Now the second way of using this analyzer is to enter in a harmonic in this green cell. Now I recently was working with a client and their product had a very high 437.5 megahertz harmonic. And so by entering the harmonic in, we'd look in the, the third column here and scan down and see if there's not some crystal oscillator or some clock frequency that is related to that. And in this case, it was a 62.5 megahertz uh, microprocessor clock that was causing that harmonic. And this is very uh, uh, great. This is a great tool to use to uh, to help you analyze particular harmonics or see what harmonics might be derived from from uh, crystal oscillators.